the audience today on fire, on fire. So lively. So lively. So lively. So lively. We're here. It's a Wednesday, 4 o'clock. We're getting good at this live thing, I think. I, th I think so. P probably crash and burn today. Yeah. Uh, Nick, how are you? I'm great. I'm like great. Define I'm great. Like, how's your week I'm, been? It's been it's been busy. It's been full. My heat is broken in my house, <laughs> so it's been a solid 55 degrees. But we're getting some a space chill heaters. Week. Yeah, a chill a week. Chill week. <laughs> Legitimately, <laughs> Addison. I'm laughing. That's how my week. My week's been good, man. Because there's a sign that says "Welcome to Chill Town." It does. Can it's you a, see it? The theme of today may need to be <sighs> chill. 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 Chill out, man. This That's it. All right. Um. Here we are. Let's uh, let's show this pedal board. If you're here, you probably know we're going to talk about my new pedal board build. Addison actually built it, um, that I and did. it's fantastic. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. So, um, if you're just tuning in, there's a little surprise. The surprise is, you ready for this? We're going to give away this exact board, not the pedals on it, but the board, an entire. Uh, patch cable system, all this stuff from Creation. This board is a really cool board. Um, Addison, maybe let's just talk briefly because we want to get right into jams. Let's I'm go. Feeling let's the jams. Jam. That's right. I want to say a few things about this board though. Creation uh, is a really cool company. You've been friends with John for years. He makes a lot of stuff. They do. Uh, they took over Fox pedals. They have an amp. We're actually using uh, one of the amps here. Um, this is a photo that's helpful to see it a little bit better. This is the Milano 50. I'm using the left channel there, but it has an EF86 channel, which is very voxy and just has a vox vibe. I'm using this kind of like I use every amp I ever use. So it's going to feel like the MiG 50 or a Baseman. I think it's EL 34 is really, really cool amp. Um, and yeah, so let's jump over. Addison, show us the mm -hmm. board that yeah, you yeah. used to build this. Yep. There it is. Ooh. I wanted a flat board for a while. Can we see it? And this is why this is exciting. It's so good. So it is flat, as you can see, hopefully. Uh, it has this really lovely um, ability to run cables down in between into the uh, bottom side of the board. So that's where all the power and cabling went. Um, yeah, it's great. Yeah, if you look back at my board, um, you can't quite see it, but it's covered in Velcro, and there's actually an overlay that it's like a giant piece of perfectly cut overlay that goes down on that, um, and that's that's fantastic. Here's the undershots. Now, Addison, mm. you really knocked it out of the park on this. I went to um, town. Thank you. Yeah, Can we, we have more sports. Medical? This is honestly tears. Tears. Tears, good. Oh. It's nice, Brings real me nice. To tears. Thank Look you. at that angle. That's good photography too. Oh, That's real shucks. good photography. Yeah, Nick, what that. do you think about this board compared to your board? Oh. It, well, in compared to my board, is that it? It's a board that exists, <laughs> and mine is one that doesn't exist. So, so uh, what you're saying is you're probably the next board build. I you hope so. You need an intervention. <laughs> I really do. Addison and I talk about you a lot. So, good. Yeah, back to the board here. Um, we're using the gig rig generator. Talk about that, Addison, because you actually wired it up. I know a good bit about it. Daniel sent this to me a while back for this build. Um, I was going to build this board in the spring, but, you know, stuff happened in 2020 and didn't get to it. So Oh, but yeah. here we are now. Okay, so the gig rig power supply is this super cool modular system that uh, the fine folks at the gig rig um, Which is created. Dan from yeah. the Pedal Show. Yep. If you haven't ever connected those dots, yeah. We love them. Um, so modular in that it can be as uh, big or small as you want it to be. My favorite part about it, so I'm I'm a type A personality. I love being clean and organized. You are? Uh, yes. Really? I didn't, I didn't know that. Oh, did you not? <laughs> and so what, what's cool about this sarcasm. is this. <laughs> oh, type A personalities struggle with sarcasm. I'm just kidding. Um, you can cut cables to length, and so it's really clean. And you can you can you know solder your own DC cables if you have like a Strymon power supply or something like that. But what's really neat about this is that it's as easy as cutting them. There's no soldering involved. Um, push them in, push a couple tabs down, and you're rocking and rolling. So um, and it, like I said, can be as big or as little as you want, and it's super super lightweight, which is um, awesome too. It's not 
heavy. Yeah, talk about the cabling here. Ooh. Back to the top shot of the board. So all the cable is from a company called Bestronics. Uh, the ends are um, SP400 cable ends. So if you haven't heard about those, those are kind of like the new uh, the new thing that everyone's raving about. People love them. They're super, super small. You can see in between pedals there how small they are, but they're like the, the world's flattest pancake uh, connector cable, so <laughs> Nick's laughing at me. <laughs> it's just the world's <laughs> flattest pancake cable. It's amazing. Who so, decided that? Yeah, is there a committee the <laughs> that they're like, Pictures we've on measured the gear page? That's the, the committee. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> so, In a world of abnormally large pancake cables comes the flattest pancake cable. Sorry, I had to get that out of my system. It's perfect. I'm I'm right. happy. Uh, so the the cabling is Bestronics, uh, perfectly fit cabling. It's just a tiny bit bigger in diameter than the opening uh, and the SP400. But what that does is kind of clamp down on the cable. So they're really easy to make. They're super awesome. Also, while we're at it, shout and out soldered. Yes, hundred percent. I yes. So we're actually giving away some creation solderless with this a whole kit. It's they're right here. Really good solderless cable. Um, right. I just wanted to go all in, you know. I'm I'm almost forty. <laughs> <laughs> I just really was like, let's solder these cables. Yeah. You know? What what do I have to lose here? I have Nothing. only gain. Yes. You know? Yes. Okay. Back to you. Sorry. I'm no, just... it's fine. I was gonna shout out uh, the fine folks at Bestronics. They yeah. uh, they were really kind to us. I actually had another build, and uh, I emailed them after I placed the order, and I was like, oh, no, I have to build sooner. Can you overnight this to me? And they did. It was crazy. So um, I believe they're in Chicago. Do you know for sure? I know they're I in, don't. Okay, they're in Illinois, I know. Um, I believe they're just outside of Chicago. There's only one city Chicago. in Illinois, right, exactly. so Chicago. Yeah, so go buy stuff from Bestronics. They have way more than cables. They're um, a, a small, like probably not even small electronics. They have electronics of all kinds, so you can buy parts and pieces and stuff to them. So big thanks to them for being super helpful to us. Yeah. Where do we start? Where I do think we, start we I think here? we need to just we need to break this board in. <laughs> and and we got a request in the comment section for a slide jam. Ooh. I think maybe we Come need on. to do we start, go there right now? I think we need to start off with a chill slide jam. Mm, chill keeping down. it chill. Let me give a quick overlay then before the jam, yeah. and then I won't mention anything else because people are intelligent, and okay. you'll see me turning pedals on and yeah. off. Let's go down top here. Uh, my guitar signal goes into the 3 Series Fuzz, currently my favorite Fuzz, and it's dirt cheap. You could put like six of them right here. You don't want to do that. Uh, then we go from there. Basically, we played around with the signal chain a bit. I may actually get the front of this wrong, but the, the general is... It's fuzz face first. I think we hit right after that into the univibe. Is that how we wired it? Domino, then univibe. Oh, the domino. So the domino is the octave up effect that I love to blend with the dirts. And we're keeping those at the front. And then I go into the univibe. And I use the I use the Warbletron this time. Um, I love the unicorn. But I love how big and weird this one is. And it's just, I use this in a very primitive way. I don't actually use tap tempo on a unicorn, which is ironic. Um, it was a really hard thing to do. But for me, this is actually my favorite. We may need to reissue this at some point. I've thought about it um, over time. That's getting in the weeds. But then, you know, in the rest of the signal path, basically, whitey tidy here. And I use this as a kind of barely audible compression it kind of glues things together i like saying it glues it together that yeah that's a good buzzword yeah yeah Ooh, yeah is there is. a glue shirt then mm. there's the bino boost which is analog man's treble booster and i like this yeah i could have built a treble booster i have i do but this one's small it has the toggle it's done and it's made by analog man so it's great morning glory into a ktr yes this is a modded clon i don't want to get into this we used to offer it there is a really unique thing I came up with. I worked on it for like a week, and I literally had this moment on a whiteboard where I figured out how to change the circuit, and it's on this toggle. I'm going to run it stock today. These are out there. They're really rare. God help you if you find one. I don't know. You could probably buy a house easier just because KTRs at this point are going for like nine, which is absurd. Don't do that. Um, also, wait, this is before drives as well. So the pitchfork, and then I have an expression pedal. 
I use this um, in the same way that I used to always use a uh, whammy, octave up, just kind of on as a pitch effect like Radiohead, my iron lung is the best reference. I do have an expression pedal on the floor, um, so I can dive it like a whammy. I'll make sure to do that and annoy everyone. We have the tuner, and then chorus is post drive. I have this uh, Milkman, really cool reverb trim, Dispatch Master, and I went back to a flashback. Shocking. I can feel people wondering why. I just like how simple it is. This is a one of one modded. There used to be a guy that did our mod shop, Tim Schaefer, and uh, he modded this randomly, and I found it in a pile of pedals and was like totally throwing it back on my board. So the mod is you can activate the loop in real time. Um, there's a kind of a high pass mod and then an all wet, so you can remove all the dry. If you're mixing this into Pro Tools or something, you can get rid of all the dry signal. That's it. Awesome. And the amp sounds like this. Big, clean. I have a talent for making any amp sound exactly like the other amp I just played. But this one's cool. Let's do this. Yeah. Uh, let's get into my old pedal boards after this jam. Ooh, I have some picks. Yep. They're saucy. I can't wait to see them. They're very revealing. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to use the Dispatch Master. Um, let's see where we're at here. There we go. I'm going to add vibrato. Ooh. Like that? That's chill. That's really chill. Ambient in G is what we'll call this. Mm. I don't know where it's going to go. Um, but I'll play some slide in a second. And don't forget to turn your mics off. almost got that last part we were close man that was, that was really chill i'm overwhelmed did with you emotion. Uh, uh someone in the comments was asking do you were you using a uh compressor with your slide no you weren't no 
Gatsby. Now, that's something I've stacked a lot of the, people do. So if you look here, I have the, the Morning Glory first okay. stage stacked with the Klon. So the Klon, let's break this down. Yeah, break it down. Man, this is like Shining Time Station. Is that a thing? I can't remember. I don't know what that is. Okay. Here's the bass clean tone. First stage. This is my magic sauce and has been for years and will always be. I'm predicting my future. Yeah. When you stack this on with a lot of gain, like I use a clon, it compresses the junk out of your sound. Okay. So, and then when you go add the slide. Really heavy pick. I use obnoxiously heavy. That's the picks that come with the pedals that everyone shuns until they use oh, them and yeah. they fall in love. Did you write that riff? I did. Yourself? It was. I was in Alabama once, and I yeah. saw this bird, and I said, "That's a free bird." Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. That's inspired. <laughs> um. So what's so other than just like with those two pedals combined, you get a grittier quality of yeah. of compression, but the ambient nature was just these two pedals. So the vibrato on the Dispatch Master. No delay pedal even on. So nice. Also, ambient nature could be a band name. Ooh. See, this This is, oh, just, all right, here's the chord without it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's okay. But hold on. You want great? Who yeah. wants great? I, I want great. I want great. 100%. Ooh. A little three, wobble? Some would say it's now become three-dimensional. Oh. Okay. Wonderful. Let's let's hear about your your old old uh, boards. boards. Okay. So the first thing is um, there is an episode um, we aired. We filmed it at Sweetwater with Paul. So Paul Gilbert interviews me about my board. It's like three hundred twenty nine thousand views. It's from March. This is pre chaos. This is when the world was normal. In the before times. This is. <laughs> in the long, long ago? It's BC, before COVID. It's Ooh. it's unbelievable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was my board. I used this board for a long time. Two years. That looks so simple. I love how the Cub and Unicorn are the same color, but they're not in yeah. any way. It was so kind of messing the, with my brain This for is a like second. the weirdest like white balance in a video ever. Yeah, so I have elements of this here. The H9 is, you'll see it in a minute. I'm... I went more simple on this current board where I can physically touch, like each effect is more separated. Okay, got it. Um, but that H9 is going on another project. But yeah, so there's this. Um, go watch that episode. It's funny because Paul and I are both really goofy um, and we kind of don't care. And I think, it, I think it's funny. Uh, there's that. And then we go back in time, like that song, gonna go back in time, that one. Here's like some random boards I've had over the years. Notice the LaCroix. Ooh. This is some session over at JTL there. Um, I, I don't remember what it was. I think it was a guy from Austin. This is like three years ago. It was maybe the last session I ever worked on. There's my typical bin of other crap I might use. And then you can kind of see there's a red llama and other petals laying there on the floor. So that was a thing. This is... Uh, that was one of the ladder boards. Um, same elements there. There's a Matthews drive in the middle. That's funny. Warbletron. Hey, Warbletron. to it. it. Yeah, I mean, I just I always mean, go back to it. I'm you using a that? switcher pedal there, which is really, I like that system I had. On the topic of the Warbletron, real yeah. quick, you're you're just running it in the vibe setting right now, right? So there's I no. I barely use the like the Hendrixy s swirly okay. thing. Cool. I, I do if we're playing like blues jams. Yeah. You little, know, little secret sauce. Feeling saucy. Thing. Nice. This is another of the, this is a bigger board I ran for a while. The Nutella case is something that I put protos in that's always changing. There, James Duke has one of these. I just really? I can't even remember the circuit. Diamond vibrato in place mm -hmm. of the vibrato in the warble. Great. Pitchfork right there. Nice. That's Same. A, I love that pedal. Yeah. I really it's amazing. do. amazing. Very similar, so cool. though. Not a lot of difference. I have a mini foot, and then there's a Daredevil treble booster. Charlie Brown as a third drive. Interesting Diamond, Diamond vibrato. You say that in such a no, shunning no, no. way. Just from, you know, the quantum This is the <laughs> This is, <laughs> this is a, a same era. This is, um, I, I band directed an album release over in uh, Overland Park. 
This is in some ballet studio. It's a very weird rehearsal environment. That board, it looks almost, I think it's just one of the boards we just saw. Milkman amp before we had the Loud is More Good. Playing this guitar. This is a random Christmas thing I helped with. I'm playing acoustic through a color box. But look Ooh. at that board. Hold on, I'll show you. Did you use delay that day on your acoustic? Please tell me. No, did. that's Dang. the board. I had oh, a okay. heavy lid Shoals and a Morning Glory and a diamond. Like, so weird. Just very random and simple. Um, There's the Sovtech and a Quilter Solid State Amp. I would run stereo oh. out of the H9. That's kind of cool. Um, I mean, it's kind of That's cool. that last board. This is somewhere I was playing stereo. That's very interesting. I never play stereo. Yeah. That seems very like you know me, extra for you. Josh. Nick knows that I don't play stereo, no. so I don't know what was going on there. So someone that's, asked, that's my past, and I'm proud of it. I, I'm not ashamed. You shouldn't be ashamed. Um, Brendan Prendergast, which okay. props to that last name, just yeah, by the way, uh, was wondering what made you switch from the unicorn to the um, Warbletron on I don't, this board. I don't need the tap tempo. I never use it. And I just think the Warbletron is cooler looking. So it's I like aesthetic. Both. I win either way. <laughs> that's like great. In my mind. I'm not. No, that's great. <laughs> but I do feel peer pressure to play the current thing. Right. But I don't want to give in to that. Right. Because so I'm free. Ultimately, you can get very similar sounds. You just, it's the same exact makes, circuit. Oh, yeah. It just makes you feel better. It makes me feel better about it. Hmm. I like it. I like it. I'm being honest. You don't need it's any the more same circuit. I just, I just like the Warble Chan and the name Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. I just yeah. feel like I'm a kid. I love it. I love That's it. I remember. Back. I remember hand building those and crying because they are so hard to hand build. Ooh, okay, yeah. those are not going to come back. Not no, the maybe, hand built ones. No. no, 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 no. no, no. You want to do another jam? I think now? we should do another jam. I really Call like. It. I like. You're the producer it. today. I like keeping it in Chilltown. I think. <laughs> We did, what was that? We we said ambient, what was the band called? Ambient Ooh. something. In the comments, if you remember what I called that <laughs> one jam. It's already gone. Yeah. Something. Let's let's use the flashback here. I'm, I have a nice reverse setting. I love how simple. You just save three patches. It's like a DL4 vibe. Yeah. It's just so nice. So what, here's, here's what the reverse. What three pa patches do you have saved currently? Oh. Great questions, Nick. Well, this is these are from the oh, comments. Thank you. People. These are questions from the people. <laughs> so give the people what they want. Setting the A is a reverse. Nice. Setting B is going to be like a stacked quarter and dotted eighth delay. Okay, Ooh. that's like your. That's a must have. Is that the key we're playing in next? We'll, we'll do D on this one. And then it was ambient nature, by the way. Thank you, ambient. comment section. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. And then this is an analog with modulation quarter note. Basically, I got really close to how a cub sounds. Okay. Um, and I think I do slightly miss having... I would always just leave a cub on all the time. Okay. Um, and chain it with all the other tempos. But I think I can get by with this. And okay. like, at the end of the day, nobody... Cares. Wonderful. So I'm I'm thinking. Let me let me vision cast for this next jam. Okay. I'm thinking like imagine you're you walk through a clearing in in the woods, right? Ooh, and yeah, there's yeah, a yeah, thin yeah. layer of fog on the ground. You, why don't you start developing this with uh, your guitar? Thin sound. layer. Thin layer of of fog. I want to add ground. some of this milkman trim to that reverse. Wonderful. The sun is rising, oh, casting is its light. Through the green canopy of leaves. If your overhead. eyes aren't closed right now, please yeah. close your eyes. Close with your us. eyes with us. It is creating a green hue all throughout the forest. Wow! And you can you can hear a babbling brook in the distance, and you wonder if this moment is the moment you've been waiting for your whole life. I think it might be. Also, don't forget to mute your microphones.
That wow. That forest really took us somewhere. It did. It did. Yeah. It did. I feel green, green and, and, alive. and alive. Yes, exactly. So the pitchfork expression pedal. You can't see my feet, but basically, I have it on an octave up, which sounds like this. Oh, it sounds great with my volume down. Then the delay is off. It's so much delay, it's hilarious. So there's a little bit of the milkman verb. But if I start down here, if my heel is down, it's just normal, no octave. So I can drop my toe down. I love it so much. Which is a whammy. That's all I'm doing with it. Yeah. So the, the pitchfork has two knobs. Yeah, it has a blend, and then you can do all these different... Like, if I go here, you can just randomly do, like... I think that's a third or something, like... Let's see. <laughs> you could, if you were really smart with it, you could do some pedal steel type yeah. stuff. Ooh. Is the is the two knob thing behind your right shoulder? Is that a pitchfork as well, Josh? What are you talking about? Behind my shoulder? E I don't see anything. No. Where? where oh, it looked like a pitchfork. It's white. Is there a pedal up there? I don't. I'm. Th I'm asking. I don't. You. I don't see what you're talking. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, it's the pedal wall behind you. I'm sorry. I was mistaken. What do you mean? I, I'm confused. No. Yeah. It's. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, so now, yeah, go yeah, ahead, no, I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say, um, cast your votes in the comments for the name of that jam. Just throw some names down there, and I'll pick one to dub that jam. Yeah. What, um, I mean, what should we say here? Like, where where are we with this board? I feel amazing about it. What are your, what are your I opinions? Mean, I would like... I mean, I, I, I really like where we're going. I would like to, to explore some of the more darker, mm. the darker oh. emotions. A little angrier? I feel like we've been pretty dark. Explain. Well, I feel like there was more of a triumphant nature, more oh. of a, like, I am, I've begun the quest. Yeah. But we need to have the hero of the story go through some trials. Chill trials. <laughs> You're chill only trials. on the chill train today. Chill trials, but maybe, gone. but maybe something minory with some, mm. some s weird, okay. you know, chords yeah. and stuff. And uh, what, what do you think? Some pedals that could take us See. there. I think we go to the reliable E minor. Yeah, because yeah. It's, it's moody. I feel like so. if you don't use fuzz on this, it's probably not moody. There are so many name suggestions coming into the comments right now. Y'all are, are <laughs> eating this up. Let, let's do this. Let's. I'm gonna write a progression here. It's gonna be my finest work. Okay. okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call it out. Nick, tune your drums to E minor. Yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll do that. So E minor. I have the verb on. Let's. A little bit of trim, just enough so you know it's trimming. But. Mm. Does this feel right? It is feeling right. C and then. We'll just go back and forth, the, the sixth to yeah, the fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The challenge is presenting itself to our hero. <laughs> Don't forget to turn your mics off. <laughs> the quest has begun. Tone quest. <laughs> Why do I feel like that's a real thing?
because the C too needs to be this, heard. Yeah. Man. Wow. Okay, I got a question. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd your H9 go? Yeah, where'd your H9 go? Because that's a cool pedal. Here's where we're messing with that the other day. Where are we at? 2020 threw some punches. It delayed a bunch of grand ideas. Oh, okay. We're going to build a lot of boards this year. We're going to talk through. I really want to build boards, talk through how they function, and help people understand boards. So we have a board we're working on. By we, I mean Addison's going to put it together. I did choose the pedals, though. Yeah, you did. The Four times is, for the The thing record. is, Addison, you really love putting I boards together. I love gear. I love boards. I love I, so I get it. Yep. I I I have so much to do, I can't stay focused on it, yep. and it ends up looking messy. And and this is like once I saw this board, I was like, he's the board guy. Yeah. So here's the board we're working on. This Ooh. is this is madness. Chaos. Talk about the actual board. Okay. This is from uh the fine folks at Schmidt Array from Germany. Yeah. Um, yeah, we went back and forth for a while. Originally, you were going to go like twice this size. Um, I don't know if you remember it's that or a, not. I can't wait to show how right. it functions. It's amazing. So yeah. there's like this lid that, uh, you know, caps on the top of that. And then what's really cool is this fitted kind of um, protective neoprene case that goes up. It's not neoprene. It's, you know, it's a uh, neat. What do you Get your nylon. substance That's right. It. Sorry, bro. It's a <laughs> nylon case that goes over the top of it to protect the case. So it's cool. It's um I think the word bougie comes to mind. Would <laughs> would really, you agree? It, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. This this board, the thought was just the craziest, most powerful, yes. expensive. Some of the stuff that I would normally not put on a board, but I think for us this might be like the you're in a rut. Like there's so many yeah. sounds here. Like if we look at this board, okay. First of all, the Chase of Bliss. Like that's the drive oh, yeah, section. Yeah, yeah. It's Automaton, just that pedal. Just that pedal. We have the Hedra by Maris, which is like pitch shifting, insanely powerful pitch shifting engine. And then the Strymon Volante. Amazing. Such a versatile pedal. So good. Um, the GFI mm. modulation there, the Synesthesia. Is that how you say it? Yeah. It's the thing where you, uh, I think you see, you smell color or see smell. What is it? It's a it's an actual term for a. Hold on, I'm saying it wrong. Is it when you taste color? Yeah, I'm getting a yes. yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. It's when it, that's what that means. Um, Which, it's a modulation. You taste color. That's what. Yeah. That's wild. A great pedal name. A brilliant, it is really pedal cool. Because yeah. it, it wow. really captures like I feel like modulation is is. That's, That's what perfect. it is. It's yeah. tasting. So that so thing perhaps. is bonkers. And then the H9 okay. with the Barn 3 preset yep. uh, bottom on it. I mean, this. So that's going to be it. So my goal is H9 is going to cover all these verbs. And like, this is a, a big, crazy board. Like, so many sounds. It's, there won't it, be any normal guitar sounds coming out of this board. Yeah. What I like about it is that it's only like six things, six boxes. Yeah. But the ability of all those six boxes is so incredibly overwhelming if it had a tagline it's six boxes endless so en endless tones mm, six boxes endless tones i like that i that's, love it it's like yeah. a country song too it is it yeah. is like a country or like song. a truck commercial exactly. tagline i yeah. love it we got any questions here on the board is anyone has anybody got any questions on this board um I got a comment while you're looking for yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like the the uh, Schmidt array is the antithesis of this because you can. There's no yes. menu diving in in this board oh, that you yeah. have in front of you. You know, it's the, very straightforward. Back to creation here. Like, ho hopefully, people are going and checking out the site. Um, this board, like looking down at it, this is this is just. I love the flat board concept. Um, I also like. I'm probably going to end up doing a temple board, and there's mono stuff I really like. But this feels good. It's really easy to route like this. I'm going to end up, I can see me throwing on other fuzz pedals and even with this slapping on a VB2, you know, it's, it's really easy to change things. If the sizes are similar, you don't have to, you don't have to get so stuck into one form factor. Except yeah. that Velcro is pretty bonkers. You might get stuck on that. <laughs> um, somebody asked, yeah. how come you use the C2 like the OG and not the Waza? 
because I have three of the OGs and only one Waza, and I really hate taking things off the wall because it messes the inventory up when we're filming and I can't find stuff and I like lose sleep. It's such a practical answer, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, it, I if I had two Wazas, I would have put the Waza. But the way I use the C2, I mean, I'm going... Yeah. Like... Could yeah. you uh, elaborate a little bit more on the flashback mod? Yeah, the flashback mod. Let's let's look at it here. So if we go to this quarter note, um, let's see. That's a analog with mod sound. So. Oh, I think he might mean the actual modification. No, yeah, the modification done to the. Panel. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. sorry. So this toggle um, brightens. Or darkens, and then this is a a mod that kills all the dry guitar signal. So, oh, interesting. So a fully wet, which is useful in non light. I mean, it's yeah. really useful when you're creating parts or tracking or something like that. And then, you know, the basis of this pedal is you have three sounds, and you can like if I want to. Let me just mess the sound up here. Let's uh, let's mess this sound. I'll go. Let's do uh, the 2290 cool delay sound. Um, let's do something weirder so you can hear it dynamic. You just do a setting and you hold it down. It'll flash. And you saved it. Really easy. Now, if you want to loop, you kind of had to. It was a little more complicated. So all you got to do here to loop is. You engage the looper mode, so. Yeah. Oh, and the levels. There. <laughs> There's a level for that. That's brilliant. How useful oh, wow. is that? That was like similar to the DL4 mod that people used to do. So it's just a shortcut to the loop. That's feature. all it is. That's kind of cool, though, because you cool. could, like, loop a single note yeah. if you wanted to. Like, you could actually use that live really easily. The thought with that for me is because I'm always going to have some other ambience. So, for instance, this, you know, this is one of my bass sounds right here. I could literally take, like, an e like the soundstone. I showed it last week, like the Ebo type thing here. And I could just drone a note. So, like, drone a D. That's rad. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. Found it in a random that's, crevice that's of the building. Thanks, uh, what, Tim. What's the pedal power again? People are asking. Yeah, the power. The gig rig. It's, gig it's rig. the okay. gig rig generator system. Um, basically, it's an expandable power supply experience. I think that's what I would call it. That's a wow. Yeah. If they're not calling it that, we got to text So Daniel. you have like up in the top right there, you see it says generator. Um, and then you just kind of expand off of that. And it, it acts as these isolated battery sections, right? Basically, somewhat, yep, somewhat interesting. Yeah, yeah you can That's provide cool. different power. There's um, things if you have like Memory Man, you can buy special little, uh, yeah, little bits for those. It's very cool. That's awesome. Yeah. I think we should do a jam, and we should feature the Domino pedal. Ooh, well, let's. And I think if we can st still keep it chill, chill fuzz. Try, octave. try. I think we can't. I think chill, not necessarily as in energy, but as in, oh. as in feeling, some vibe. Some chill vibe. vibe, chill vibe, okay. Uh, Ruckusy um, soul. What did you did you just eat a tootsie roll on a live stream? I here's the thing. I didn't realize it was going to take me like forty five seconds to chew it up. So keep talking <laughs> while um, you chew anyway, it into the microphone. <laughs> I don't. I literally can't think of anything except the fact <laughs> that you decided to eat a tootsie roll on a live stream. It's like you're gonna okay. Oh, I'm comfortable I'm, with myself. I, I know you're comfortable with yourself. <laughs> we were going to talk about something else on the live stream. I don't know if that's still on the uh, on the docket. Let's for do time. it. Yeah. <laughs> People Here's the domino by itself. 
So it really loves being added to something. So we're yeah. going to use a fuzz. I think the theme of this jam is uh, uh, our hero. Our hero dis- defeats the the dragon, the dragon of the soul. There goes my hero. Mm. Dr- yeah. Okay. Foo Fighters let's, reference. Uh, <laughs> let's let's go to A, and I'll I I I gotta find this emotion. It may take a moment. Okay, you guys. Okay, ready? cool. Maybe right, by the patient. time you find it, you'll be done picking that tootsie roll out of your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> also, don't forget to mute your mics. <laughs> ventured out of chill town a little bit but <laughs> i just i felt like we slayed a dragon with that one slayed. that was a real barn burner that was a barn burner love it let's give away this board now that we've let's go uh ran everyone off of the live stream with our okay. barn burning riffs that felt okay. good uh the the domino is such a great little add-on that's neat. And with the slide, this feels good. What, what kind of a circus is that? Remind me. That's it the is a thing? Dan Armstrong Green Ringer style nice. octave. So it's cool by itself. Or if you have a really cranked, dirty amp, you just need some dirt with it on the front or the back. It's so good with fuzz. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. Let's awesome. give it away. Okay. All right. Give it away. Give, give it, it away. away. Give, give it away, away now. now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Here's our board, y'all. If you didn't see it at the beginning of the stream, we're going to give this away right here. Uh, oh, I'm looking at the camera. <sighs> yeah, we're also giving away a pack of uh, Creation solderless cables. Josh, I've never used these. You said you love them. They're very good. Yeah, they're yeah. awesome. So they're, there's a lot of them in here. I haven't counted them, but they, there's a lot. They work. Yeah, they do. A lot of solderless is, are questionable. These go together. They stay together. Really good. John did a great job on putting those together. It's yeah. like coffee and creamer. I just said together three times, and it felt strange. <laughs> go together, stay together. Yeah. Um, okay, some Velcro. Some handles for the sides of them. Should you don't leave that sticker out? I oh, saw you. I, mean, being, I haven't gone there yet. Okay, I'm sorry. And a sticker. 
<laughs> so you're gonna get all this, but here's the question: How are we giving? How this are we thing giving away? away? I feel like w- I feel Nick? like we should do a trivia thing. Yeah. Uh, what? Should I eat this bit of honey? Ooh, that'll take um, twenty minutes. <laughs> excuse me, it's I'm called bit o honey. Uh oh. That's what Katrina makes we're, fun of us for. We're eating. gonna give this away. Here you go, Addison. Kay. That bit of honey is gonna be in there. It's gonna um, go. This yeah, is from gonna uh, get a bit of honey. It came from Sweetwater sweet to us and now to you. We're just gonna pass on the gift of it's bit lovely. of honey. Of bit of honey. <laughs> Nick, okay. you got some trivia for uh, us? Sure. I gotta get home for dinner, y'all. Yeah, we got yeah, eight minutes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh what year was I born? <laughs> this was on the JHS show, so you should know. Okay. Good luck with the billions of comments are about to pour in here. <laughs> what hey, year was I born? Hey, and just for the record, for those that are watching, this is always our disclaimer. It's whoever's it's answer arrives to our server first. Bless you. I'm sorry if you think you got it first, but if we don't see Justin, it first, Justin, 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 Justin. You My got God. it first, homie. <laughs> Everyone stop. <laughs> Pin message. So Justin, Justin, Justin is actually... I, I would say he's a fan if he knows that. That's he's amazing. either a stalker or a really good that fan. That is true. I didn't really think about how that the possibility of a lot of people knowing that could mean either they watch the show mm. or well, the they know problem, where I sleep. Let's be honest. The other <laughs> problem is now they know you're a child. Ooh. Okay, so I'm what's sorry. the answer, Nick? What's the answer? I have two children. Hey. Uh, what what year were you born? I was born in 1992. Hey, me and too. so is Addison. Yes. Should we take a moment to talk about how you're not my son? Can we? Yeah. Can we, we can. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not. It's fine. Nick isn't your son. No, I'm not. That would mean that you were 10 year you would you're my 10-year-old father. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I think there's a movie that aired on CMT called 10-year-old father. I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. But but Justin um, uh, Butch Holes, uh, you you won. You so won a board. Man. Where does yeah. Addison? Where does board. where does Justin need to uh, yep. email to? And hey, you guys, Ooh. just Justin, just 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 Justin. Justin. Don't email in. The the don't last be mean. Justin. The last name that's spelled B U C H H O L S. That's your. That's Perfect. the last name. Kay. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Justin, email me. Vlog at jhspedals.com. If there anyone else emails, yep. we'll know. <laughs> We're going to go nuts. On I you. will lose. I'm going to lose my it. mind. We'll, we'll cancel the show. Cancel. We'll delete all of our videos. I'll, I'll burn this building to the ground tonight. <laughs> tonight. Congratulations, Justin. Congrats, man. Thank That's you cool. for knowing the year I was born. And ironically, the year I was born. That's yeah. not ironic. I mean, no. It's Isn't just it a fact. Ironic? Yeah, it is. Cool. Well, I feel like we've worn out our welcome here. This should was, we? I think we really should just fun. do like one last little outro jam because we got we like a it. solid six minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do. Oh, I'm seeing. I'm I'm seeing five minutes on my end. I'm seeing. I'm also seeing five. It was <laughs> it was six what's minutes. What's the consensus here? I mean, of uh, people I, having a good time. I think people are having a great time. I I don't want to do these lives mm. if people aren't having. People a good might time. be mad at Justin right now for schooling him on yeah. some massive trivia, hey, but deep trivia. Well, if people were real fans, they'd know our birthdays, where we live. Yeah, you know, I, I, you can only expect so much of the normal people. It's, it's true. It's the real fans that always yeah, come yeah, through yeah. in moments like this. Josh, how you liking this amp? You like it? I, I love this amp. It's, it's been at, at my home. Um, I have a home, and um, there's <laughs> some gear there. I took this home. I have several amps that I really like having around for recording, and this one in particular. It's also funny. You can't see it. Creation makes great flight cases. Ooh. It's under there. But I this is an amp that I'll toss in my car and if I need to go play it. Like I cause I have a flight case. So it's cool. Yeah. Awesome. I, I honestly he's doing great stuff over there. Go check him out. Yeah. What's the vibe on this exit song again? I think this is the part of the movie where he defeats the dragon and I he's on his way home. That. Oh, this no. is post battle. Let, let me finish my okay. story. All right. He he defeats the dragon and he's on his way home, but he's changed inside. He's not the same. For better, or wor- like for better or for worse, he's defeated the dragon, but he is he's he's it's like Frodo at the end of okay. the Lord of the Rings where he goes. So home. it's a personal discovery of who he is now. Like he, he's yeah. conquered something. Home is no no longer quite home after mm. the dragon has been defeated. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's he's changed and no one around him's changed. Yeah. 
and it's that longing for yeah, fellowship. Yeah, it's like I just freaking spent the last three years of my life chasing this dragon down, and now it's over. What do I do? I haven't seen Lord of the Rings, so I'm a little out of you. We're, we're, what? we're not no. talking Lord of the Rings. No, this oh, isn't Lord of the Rings. Gotta, 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 this is just okay. general hero's journey. Okay. I apologize. I it's didn't okay. mean to compare. Okay. No. Yeah. I mean, it's it's totally fine. I'm sorry. Pick a key out. How about you start oh, a nice man. little, a nice, okay. yep. uh, chill, drony bass riff thing? What key? And then let's do this. And we're going to exit out on this. It's been great. Thanks for tuning in, as always. Yeah. Check out the Patreon. There's long form talks. If you're a nerd and you love gear, I do some really cool stuff over there. There's also other giveaways and things. And then the jhsshow.com. Because you might want like a loud is more good hoodie. Oh, it's hard. Life's it's on. <laughs> Things are difficult. Yeah. Anyway, check that out. Um, yeah, we good with this? I think we're good. I think we. Right, you want to so start it up? To start yeah. it. All right. Kia C, y'all. Ooh. Feel the journey, you know what I'm saying? The journey's over. Roll the credits. Until next time. Bye bye.